do six basic warm-ups. I'm gonna walk you through these with a little bit of coaching. You should know these though. Uh, we're doing these most of the time in boot camps. First one we're gonna start off with is the bird dog. I like to call it a pointer. I do it a little bit different than, than some. I'm gonna make a nice fist and when we do the bird dog, uh, I'm not gonna bring elbow to knee together. This is work on flat back. Reach with that heel, pull that toe in, and then reach with that nice tight fist. Really work on, work on lengthening. We're just gonna switch sides. So with all these, spend about 20, 30 seconds on this one. We just wanna make sure the back stays nice and flat and we're not arching and reaching up. So that's the bird dog. Next up, we can do this standing or we can do this down in this quadruped position. We're just gonna be doing uh, just some hip circles. So we can go out on each side and then reverse it, we can go in. So again, just 20, 30 seconds on each side. You can also do that in a standing version. Next one, we're gonna get up on the feet. We're gonna do some standing knee hugs. So on this one, you don't wanna be arching the back. Just up, tug the knee. We're gonna just give a little stretch in the hamstring and in the glutes. Again, you can do the standing version of the hip openers just like this. Next up, let's do some hip hinges. So I want you to think about just pushing the glutes back and just rocking the hips. So I always teach the Instagram, sorry, I mess this up every time. Superman, right? Spread open the shirt like you got the Superman shirt on. Superman, Instagram, pop the booty back and press the ham against the glass. If you've ever mooned anybody, you know what I'm talking about. So here's the hip hinge, keep those hips high. We're not gonna be doing a squat and dropping them. You should really feel this in the hamstrings and in the glutes. Next up, let's do some prisoner squats. You should be familiar with these again. Don't pull on the head. We're just gonna drop a nice low squat, pause for one count, back up. Make sure you're doing this, pull the chest open so you get a nice stretch there and keep the chest nice and tall. Last thing I'm gonna have you do is do a walk out to a Spider-Man, one of my favorites. So we're just gonna walk out, and once we're in this position, we're just gonna bring leg up, get a few of these in. You can even add a rotation. A little bit easier to do the side of the knee. If you wanna make it more challenging, try and reach on the opposite side and work on some mobility. All right, there's your warm-ups. All right guys, we're moving into workout one of my travel workout series. We're gonna be doing a goblet squat. So most hotel gyms are gonna have a dumbbell for you. So if they've got the hex dumbbells, perfect. That's what we're looking for. If not, we can make do. But goblet squat, let's talk about how we're gonna pick this up. So from the side view, put that dumbbell in alignment with your shins. And we're going to go ahead and rack this guy up. And I wanna get my elbows nice and planted uh, with a vertical forearm. And we're gonna be holding this in tight right below the chin. So we're gonna be doing this workout for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Just get yourself an interval timer, uh, a phone app, and just set this on and let it roll. So we're gonna be just doing normal squat here. Two second down, one second pause, one second up. So, here we go. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And you lower this down, make sure you go ahead and reverse that process you're not trying to drop it out in front of you. Next up, we're gonna be doing Renegade Rows. Good challenge for the core stability here. You're gonna try and resist from rotating. Move the width of your feet to help. What you don't wanna be doing is swaying side to side. So start hip width if you need to, make it a little bit wider, if you want it more challenging, have your dumbbells or narrow your feet. So with this, pulling up, rowing, Planting it back down, try and keep those hips level and locked. This was pretty challenging. I'm doing this with 25 pound weight. Actually did this in my workout yesterday and worked myself up to 45s. So for most of us, we're gonna be ranging anywhere from somewhere around 10 pounds to probably 30 pounds. So next up, we have half kneeling overhead press. Back to the dumbbell. So what we're gonna be doing this position here. You can go ahead and do this for the full 40 seconds. If 
gets a little bit too difficult, you can halfway through, approximate where that is, switch over to the other side. So we're gonna be pressing with the side that the knee is down. We're gonna have a nice tall chest, but you don't wanna be reaching when you press. You wanna keep your rib cage down, squeeze the glutes, and the nice press up. Really work on controlling it down. Lock the elbow at the top, pause, and control it on the way down. So that's number three, the overhead press. Next up, we have a goblet reverse lunge. So we're gonna go right back, same weight. You get your 20 seconds of rest, bringing it back up. And here, bring the feet together, we're gonna do a reverse lunge, down and back. I like the reverse lunge. I have some knee issues myself. So by going back, it's a little bit easier because the shin is gonna stay in more of a vertical position. So if you have a little bit of challenge with your knees, try out the, the reverse lunge. Last up, we're gonna do a three-point row. Since you do get to go left and right hand side, we're gonna go through this workout six times. Feel free to halfway through switch. If you have heavy enough weight, stay on that same side. So three-point row, what we're gonna do Find any sort of bench, the dumbbell rack, uh, anything in, you can use a Swiss ball, but I'm just gonna support your chest, hinge your hips back, and then we're just gonna be rowing by the side here. Really think about squeezing your back, driving with the elbow. You don't wanna just be rotating at the shoulder AC joint here. So when you get up to the top, think about like you have a, a piece of plywood on your back, just trying to drive your elbow into that piece of plywood. And then as you lower down, think about pressing away versus letting it fall. So there's your five workouts. We got the goblet squat, renegade row. Next up, we have the half kneeling overhead press, left and right hand side. Goblet reverse lunge. And final, we have the three point row on both the left and right hand side. Give this a try, about 30 to 35 minutes. We're gonna go through the six rounds, go through two rounds, then take a one to two minute break. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Go through two rounds, take one to two minutes. You should be able to blast through this whole entire workout in about 40, 45 minutes from top to bottom. If you just wanna condense it, you move right into the dumbbell portion at max 35 minutes. So give these guys a try. Travel workout number two. You don't even need a gym for this one. Only thing you may need is a little bit of a bench. You can find a place outside. You could do this if you'd like to, if the weather's nice where you're at. But five exercises, I'm saying five, I'm saying giving you four. Five exercises. We're gonna do a 60 seconds on, 30 seconds of rest. This is gonna be more conditioning, so the heart rate's gonna be pumping. Let's get four rounds through. If you're short on time, do two. Doesn't matter how far you get into this workout, Give it your effort. Uh, if you gotta cut it short because you only got 30 minutes, you only got 30 minutes. So do the same warm ups uh, from up above. And then here we go. We're gonna start off with some mountain climbers. You can do these slow or fast. To do these fast, we're running the knees. So you wanna make sure shoulders right over top of the hands. And then when you're doing this, you're not hopping and switching your feet. You're thinking about running your knees up. So here's the slow version. Here's the fast version. So 60 seconds, if you need a bit of rest, go back to slow, speed it back up, and go back and forth, 60 seconds. Next up, we got bench hop side to side. I'm using the escape bench here. This one's about 14 inches. You can use any sort of bench that's in the gym. We're just doing these hippity hops side to side. Again, do this at your own intensity. If you wanna get a little bit more of a jump, you can. Make sure you plant your weight in your heels and focus on a nice soft landing. Next up, see your heart rate's getting up. Next up, we've got a walk out to a push up, similar to our warm up. We're not gonna Spider Man, we're just gonna come here, down to a push up. So when you're doing the push ups, elbows not here, bring them down. So from up above, you should look like an arrow when you're doing your push ups. If you can only get a partial push up, I want you to drop to your knees. Focus on good form. Make sure your hips are in place. And we can do this from the knees. 
If you have enough strength to lower yourself but not push up, you can lower on your toes, drop the knees, and then push up. So that's number three, you got your walk out and push up. After you do your push up, if I'm in this position, I'm gonna walk myself back up, head back down, number two. Next up, we've got skaters, side to side skaters. You're gonna be working some glutes. So for this one, side to side, almost has like a little curtsy lunge at the end. When jumping's not your thing, you don't have to jump as much. Last one, uppercut. So we're just gonna be, again, doing some uppercuts here, pivoting on that foot, the fist that you were driving up in the uppercut punch. You're gonna be moving your hips forward, squeezing the glute. We're getting some boxing stuff coming up soon, so let's practice and we'll be hitting some heavy bags. So 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Again, we've got mountain climbers. You can go slow to fast if you need to. Bench hop side to side. Next up, we got the walkout to push up, skaters, and then the uppercuts. Enjoy, give it all you got. Have fun traveling this week, guys.